Hello friends, welcome to the talk, Java string intern, interesting question and answers, right? See, in this talk, we are going to be discussing about the intern function in the Java Lang string object, right? Have you guys, anyone in the call, have you guys used the intern function in the string object in the past? No. No, okay. 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 So, okay, that's fine. No worries. So, let me explain what is this intern function is, right? Or what is the value it's going to bring, right? See, the inter in Java applications, there are some statistics which say something like uh, close to 20 percentage of Java memory is populated with duplicate strings. There is an enormous amount of duplication of strings which happens in JV in Java applications. So when you invoke the intern function, it, it eliminates the duplicate strings, right? So let me explain how it works uh, so that you will get a better understanding. Okay, so let's uh, see how to use this intern function. See, uh, I, I write a code like this. Let's say this is a hypothetical code just to demonstrate how the intern function works. See, here I'm creating a new string object y crash. And then on this, I'm in invoking the intern function, right? And then this is being assigned, the result of this is being assigned to the variable s1. And then here I have a next statement, which is s2. And here I say new string of y crash. And then, and then I do an intern operation on that. And the resulting thing is assigned to s2, right? Let's see, so let's say if this is the code, let's see what happens in the JVM memory, right? So this is how the JVM memory looks initially, right? So there is this Java JVM heap memory, which has this end generation and old generation. And this internally contains a, a pool called as a string intern pool, okay? So this is a, uh, it's a pool of string so that's stored in this pool. So as a developer, when I write this code, string S1 is equal to new of string, y crash and intern then what happens is first this y crash the jvm what does it do is first it checks whether this y crash string is present in this intern pool it checks whether this is present in the intern pool if it is present in this case it is not present right because this is the very first time it is coming it is, it's not present so it adds this y crash into this pool and the and the reference to that is what assigned to this s1 that's what it does okay in case if y crash string is already present in this pool, then what it will do is it will not create a new y crash string. Rather, it is going to send back the same reference back. So, so now let's say you saw the program, right? Then the next statement, what it was doing was it was saying string s2, saying new string of y crash, and it was invoking intern operation on it. When it does, now the JVM will check. For, let's say when JVM is going to execute the second statement. It's going to check whether this Y crash string is present in this intern pool. Yes, in this case, it is present. Now, the JVM will not create a new Y crash string. Rather, it's going to return you back this same uh, reference of the earlier Y crash string. So in this way, the duplicate strings are eliminated from the application. Right? Right? So now, now let's see what will happen to the code if you're not going to invoke the intern operation. Let's say if, if you're not going to invoke the intern operation, how it's going to look like. So this is how the code I've written. So here I say string S3, new string, Y crash. So this is a new program. Let's say this is a separate program, new program, new y, y crash. And then I'm saying S4, new string, Y crash, right? So I, I've written a code like this. Now let's see what happens behind the scenes. So JVM has this heap memory, it's a clean, clean slate. My program is just coming up. It has an intern pool and it doesn't have any objects in it. Now, when the very first statement is executed, S3 is called new string Y crash. Then what happens is this Y crash string is stored in this heap memory. It's not going to be stored within the intern pool. It is going to be outside this intern pool. Now, uh, my next statement, which is, S4 is equal to new string of Y crash. It means there's one more new Y crash string is created. And this is assigned to this S4. So now I end up having two string objects. So this is what it happens 
when when we write the code typically we write but when you use the intern then they are stored stored in, into this pool and any duplicates are not allowed is it making sense uh, how this intern function works so this so this is how they try to eliminate the duplicate strings so but it is your developer responsibility to invoke the intern operation any do you have any questions or is this making sense are you understanding yeah it? it's clear yeah it's okay clear. So, okay so friends now i'm going to ask you a question if you're going to say let's say let's go back to this code s3 is equal to new string y crash s4 new string y crash right now if I, if i'm going to say s3 say i'm going to say system dot out dot print ln s3 double equals s4 what will be printed say i'm going to use a double equals operation right i'm going to check whether they are there um so then what will be printed if say if i'm going to say system dot out dot print ln s3 double equals s4 then what will be printed so let let's just write it out here so here i'm just going to say system dot out dot print ln s3 double equals what will be printed you think uh, it's going to print uh, true or false for this program false false false, false. right it, it is false the references yes it is yes it's it is it is it is two different objects so it's going to return a false okay but now let's look at this program s3 is equal to let's take up this program s3 it is it is doing intern right now if i'm going to do uh, say if my program if i'm going to write like this system dot dot print ln s1 equals s2 then what will be printed true true that's what you guys are saying yes sir yes because the double equals operation checks whether it is the same object right that's what it checks whether they are in the same reference it doesn't investigate if you if you invoke the equals operation then it's, it it goes if if they have overridden the equals method then it's going to go within the object and check here it just check the mere address whether it is the same object that's what it check when you do the s1 is equal to s2 what happened because it is the intern pool right both of them are pointing to the same y crash object it's going to return true whereas uh, in this case it is pointing to two different objects it's going to return false right so this is an good interview question okay so now let's go, uh, let's come back so now we understood how this intern function works and then we also spoke about uh, how this double equals operation works with the intern function okay so now i have a next question see the jvm as different regions right there is this eng generation old generation there is a meta space and then there is a others region where is this intern pool is stored whether it's going to be stored in the jvm heap or whether it's going to be stored in the meta space whether it's going to be stored in the others region see based on this diagram i have already given a uh, it is going to be stored in the jvm heap memory only it's not going to be stored in the meta space or it's not going to be stored in the others region back in earlier days from java 1 to java 6 this intern pool was stored in the perm gen the permanent generation of course the permanent generation got deprecated it was replaced by meta space but that is something you want to be aware but starting from java 7 this intern pool was not stored in the perm gen they have been promoted to be and they are being saved in this heap memory only okay this is something you want to be cognizant of now the next question see the intern does the eliminate the duplication of strings right but there is also an another argument which you can pass to jvm called as xx use string due duplication so which one do you want to use whether do you want to pass this xx use string due duplication or whether do you want to pass the whether do you want to invoke the intern function right which one do you want to use see both function has their own merits and demerits see the when you pass it as use string due duplication it can only work with g1 gc algorithm 
if you are using some other algorithms then it will not work that is the first catch and the second one the u string due duplication works only on the long lived object so only if your objects going to live for a longer period then that's when this when you pass the string due duplication but even before going there let me explain what is this u string due duplication does see when you pass this jvm argument u string due duplication this uh, jvm argument when it's passed the jvm when it's doing the garbage collection it's going to eliminate all the duplicate strings from the memory it you don't have to programmatically do it and the garbage collector itself when it's doing the garbage collection it's going to eliminate the duplicate strings okay so the question is whether do you want to use this u string due duplication or whether do you want to use the intern function what is the right approach right see there is no hard and fast rule both has its own merits and demerits so what are the merits and demerits let's discuss them briefly here the u string due duplication can work only if you are using a g1 gc algorithm so if you are using some other algorithm like a cms parallel or those kind of algorithm then this will not work there's a first catch the second catch is the u string due duplication will work only on the long lived objects so object which is going to be living for a longer period that's when this will really come in effect and it's going to eliminate the duplicates uh, whereas the intern it it doesn't matter immediately it's going to check whenever you create a string object when you invoke it programmatically you do it's going to check so it will work both on short lived and long lived object right and uh, and the other thing is the intern means you have to programmatically do so wherever i create a string you need to invoke this intern operation it may be a very painful thing to do whereas this u string due duplication is something just a argument you are passing you don't need to do any code refactoring or anything of that nature right okay so these are some of the pros and cons what you want to be taking into account when when you are doing this uh, whether you want to go for intern or the u string due duplication right and then the next question what i want to discuss is what is the performance impact of using the intern function see see there is a separate uh, talk which i will give in the description where we are discussing extensively about what is the performance impact of using the intern function but very in i in i level when you use the intern function say if in a particular location it has it will reduce their duplication of strings right that, that is there but it has an impact on the response time and the cpu utilization right you will you will conserve memory but it will take an, a little bit toll on the response time and as well as on the cpu utilization we will see those impacts you can see those impacts in the other talk so these are some very interesting question and answers on this intern function is it making sense or do you guys have any additional questions that you want to bring up uh, feel free to do so okay um if i create no, 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 no. a string object go ahead yeah one by one yeah uh, if go i ahead, create sorry. that uh, string object in two different classes so it will still it will still it take effect yes so uh, that's a good question sai what you're asking so yeah you're asking there's a public class a and then um, in this class in some function you're invoking intern fun intern method on the string object and there is another class uh, b right and then here you are going to invoke the intern function right that's what so will it take effect that's your question right will the duplicate strings will yes, be eliminated sir. right answer is yes yeah. if you see if as long as class a and b at the end of the day are still running on the jvm right so whenever you do the intern operation the jvm is going to check whether this object has been created in this intern pool if it is created then it will not create the duplicate so yes all throughout the jvm intern will work it doesn't matter which class it is that's a good question okay uh, i had another question uh, i had another question what was it mahesh do you want to go no ram i i said uh, i'm good i don't have okay, any okay. question yeah okay i see okay any other questions from anyone um if i create uh, directly string without using that uh, create the object very good question keyword. very good queen very very good question so you are asking when you do that and what will be the effect right that that's your question yes sir right so size question is see we don't uh, say what if he says string s1 is equal to let's say what will happen 
is that's what your question what will happen or, yes, or what okay see th this is called as string literals right this is called when you do like this the jvm by default interns them so you don't have to write the code for it the jvm by default it does the intern operation so that the duplications will be avoided so that's why when you do this public static finals and define there and all they that duplicates will be eliminated you don't have to explicitly do that is taken care for you by the jvm okay okay so you are saying uh, if i am creating this string in a class and i am doing the same thing in b class so i will get the same reference in b. yes yes okay okay any other questions okay friends so thank you very much uh, i will meet you in another interesting topic